Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick five minute unboxing and overview of the Cybergun FN uh, self loading police shotgun. Uh, nice licensed FN. Uh, package includes obviously the SLP, one speed loader, uh, one Allen key, manual, and a little baggie of BBs. It's just behind the manual. And three, in my case, Swiss arms. I don't know if that's going to be the same for everybody. Uh, shotgun shells. Uh, included on the gun is a removable rear iron sight. It's a nice wide uh, aperture there and two high visibility dots with another one up at the front. Uh, it's a nice sight, big open uh, sight. Nice um, shielding on your front sight post. The gun is uh, has a metal receiver, I'm assuming aluminum. It's fairly lightweight. The rest of the gun, stock, pistol grip, which is held in with a, a one screw right there. And uh, whole front end, that's all plastic. Uh, rubber, aside from the rubber cheek piece and the rubber butt piece. Uh, it's a CO2 powered gun. CO2 goes in right here uh, into a little chamber and that chamber can be opened and closed either by hand or with the included Allen key. Uh, this is a adjustable hop up gun through a little hole on the top right there hard to see I know just shooting this on my phone real quick uh, it does not include the allen key for the hop-up adjustment so I'm hoping that's pretty good out of the box uh, controls on this are uh, you can see a little arrow there switches between three rounds and one round uh, one round is good if you want to conserve ammo or uh, for chronoing uh, obviously, you're going to get more power out of one BB than, than three. It uses the same, like, the same amount of gas for both modes. So at your field, you should be chronoing it with a single BB as your worst case scenario, even if you plan on using it three shot exclusively. Um, speaking of shooting, you have a double action trigger, exclusively double action. Um, that's how it gets away with being... Um, that was my email, by the way, my computer, not yours. Uh, that's how it gets away with being semi-auto. Is that it is? It, I don't know if it's actually physically inside double action, but it, it feels like a double action trigger. So it's going to be a longer, tr uh, heavier trigger pull than you might expect. Um, coming back to these shells, Tokyo Marui compatible shells, thirty rounds each. Again, you can shoot it three round mode or one round mode, so you can get ten shots or up to thirty shots, which is just kind of cool. You can switch between on the fly. Uh, safety is your standard push through safety. This way is safe. That way is fire. Like I said, if I can do this one handed here, I can see how heavy that trigger is. And it actually uh, has a little action on that uh, when you pull the trigger. Uh, barrel wise, it is a single barrel. I'm not sure the inner diameter, but the single barrel is how it gets a single shot mode. Step back here, another overview. Uh, manual's pretty basic. Go through the safety and the hop up, loading the uh, shells, and of course your warning about you know airsoft gun and check your your lead your local legislation and all that stuff. Um, rails, we have four rails on here. You've got your top rail for a sight, and three rails at the front, one on each side, one on the bottom. Um, good for flashlight laser, something like that. Um, cap is removable from the magazine tube. However, unlike sort of Jag Arms, Matador, and other shotguns, the mag tube, uh, it's non-functional. You can't store your extra shells up front. Uh, wish that was a little bit different. I wish, I wish the other barrel was metal. But uh, I think for the price point, it's fine. And this may be modifiable when the, this is all opened up. I don't think there's anything doing anything in this section. Uh, but have to open it up to see. But it could be that you could cut out the end here and fit a couple shells inside. That's that's potential modification. Um, I think that just about covers it for an overview. Like I, said, I think I said 165 from uh, evike.com, US, if I uh, if I didn't say that. And uh, out of the box, I'm happy with it. It's got quality packaging. Solid, uh, solid open cell foam here. It's glued together. The, uh, the three pieces of foam 
and the one in the lid is obviously loose, so you can you can get it out. But um, that gluing the foam together is a, is a little bit extra work in the packaging that they don't have to do, uh, and it fits quite solid. Uh, if I didn't mention it, sling swivel at each end. Um, and yeah, I think that covers it. We're just over five minutes, and I said I would do this in five minutes, so that's it. Uh, any questions, I'll try and answer, but I have not fired this gun yet, and I don't think I'll get a chance this year, uh, since I mostly play outdoors, and I think this gun's a little too hot for indoors, out of the box anyways. But, uh, yeah, that's my review. Thanks for watching.